Okay, so this is the prototype of the MindFlex to MIDI um, rig that I'm hoping to use for tempting failure. Um, the bits on the desk that you can see are the disassembled uh, MindFlex, and what I've done is taken um, a control voltage out of the voltage that normally controls the fan. Um, that then goes down to the MIDI Tron board which is down here and I'm hoping that that will be replaced by something that can take more inputs in time for attempting failure and that then goes up to Ableton where it runs some data. I'm currently looking absolutely ridiculous at the moment wearing the headset um, and I'll just plug this in now and show you how it works. So if I plug in this section here Then the fan is now winding up and the fan speed is controlled by my EEG brainwaves. Um, I've then got those set for a couple of patches on here that I'm experimenting with at the moment. Um, the first one will be controlling the pitch of um, a synthesizer patch. So when it's running, I'll just wait to slow down, stop concentrating. And the more I concentrate, the higher that pitch is. Let's try and focus. There we go, so the more I concentrate, the higher the pitch of that tone is. Um, you can see next to it, there's another one where it's controlling a volume control as well. I'm just going to switch to that now. So on this one it's running a continual loop but it's just modulating the volume. Concentrate. I did as well is getting so that the speaking part of it can also become part of the performance so it's now got an audio output socket as well um, I'm hoping that I haven't done too much damage to the mind flex All right. calm down um, because what I'm hoping is that I can still use the mind flex bit that causes a small ball to levitate on a um, flow of air so that I can still use it, so I can use that to control other um, inputs as well um, with the possibility of having those triggering lasers or light sensors um, on the main board. Um, so yeah, so far so good.